Hi YouTube, today we are looking at a different video. Today I have a new carbon steel wok here. Carbon steel wok by itself is known for very commercial use. This can last forever, trust me. This wok, uh, I've been using this in the commercial kitchen for a longer time. This can last forever if you really, really do take care of the wok. The only way to take care of the wok is to season the wok before you use the wok. So this is uh, just uh, just a standard size wok, 30, 36 centimeter uh, in size. The wok by itself is very well known for its commercial use. This is uh, a, a typical wok which is used in most of the Chinese uh, cookery. Chinese cookery, uh, they use this wok for most of the stir fry, but make sure after you season the wok, make sure you don't uh, uh, use the wok to boil or steam or poach anything on the wok. Use it for stir fries, use it for your stir fries like your vegetable, your meat or fried rice and the wok will last you forever. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to season this wok. It's pretty simple. So this wok, if you can see here, this wok has uh, uh, factory oil coated on the metal. The main reason for the factory oil to be coated on the metal is to uh, uh, protect the metal from being rusted before it's, it's being sold to the customer. So the first thing what we're going to do is to get rid of the factory oil and then I'm going to show you how we are going to coat uh, and then it becomes a non-stick uh, wok and the food glides through the wok you fry anything, you fry the egg, you do the fried rice, it just doesn't stick and it's just glide through the wok and it becomes a really really nice coated uh, non-stick wok so let's get it started, let's keep the board going so guys. to get started with the first stage I have here a hot soapy water a very hot soapy water, I put some detergent or a dishwashing liquid and I have bought a good metal scrub this is a really good for to scrub the metal. So I'm going to use the hot soapy water to get rid of the factory oil. So to get started. So I have completed my first stage, I have uh, got rid of the factory oil, I've used a metal scrub with the soapy water and I have cleaned uh, the factory oil. Now the wok is wet, I have to dry this, so I'm going to put it on the gas, on a medium uh, gas mark for about 1 to 5 minutes so all the water get evaporated and the wok becomes uh, completely dry and then we are going to season coat the oil for the wok. So let's get it started. So I'm gonna dry my wok because I just washed it and I just cleaned it with hot water. I'm gonna dry my wok. Uh, so I'm gonna put my gas to the medium gas mark and I'm gonna leave it for one to five minutes and uh, the wok is gonna be completely dried and the water is gonna get evaporated. And then we start uh, coating and seasoning the wok with some oil. It's completely dry and all the water has been evaporated. At this stage, I'm going to coat uh, this with oil and uh, I'm going to season the wok. Let me show you how I'm going to do it exactly. 
So my work is nice and dry, it's very clean. So there's no water left in my work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a paper towel and I'm gonna get some oil to the paper towel. And then I'm gonna do a very thin layer, very thin coat to the wok. Nice and smooth, make sure you get the oil to the sides and the bottom of the wok. I'm using peanut oil for this uh, seasoning. You can use uh, vegetable oil, doesn't matter. So I prefer peanut oil. Make sure you have a paper towel and you coat it very well. I'm doing a very thin coating to the wok. So at this stage, make sure you have your uh, kitchen well ventilated. Make sure the windows are wide open because it's going to uh, create some smoke because we are going to season the wok. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom of the wok. Get some oil to the paper towel and I'm going to just season the whole wok with the peanut oil. So this is the first coating, this is the first thin coating. So I'm going to put this on the gas for about 10 to 15 minutes and then the color of the wok is going to change. It can be uh, like a yellow brownish color, sometimes it can turn to blue or sometimes it can turn to dark black. But definitely the color of the wok is going to change. So let's put this on the gas. So I'm going to season my wok on a medium gas mark for 10 to 15 minutes or maybe on a high gas mark. So at this stage of seasoning process you need to move the wok around the gas uh, maybe to the sides and to the bottom of the pan. The entire color of the wok will change and it's going to be nice and evenly coated and you will have a nice and beautiful uh, uh, well seasoned wok. So let's keep it going. So the entire wok has been seasoned. If you see the color of the wok has changed. Here it's becoming a little bit of dark color. Some wok might turn into a blue color or maybe yellowish brown. But the color of the wok has changed. At this stage, I've seasoned the entire wok. I've seasoned the bottom of the wok and the side of the wok. So it's well coated with oil. So at this stage, the wok is very hot I'm gonna switch off the flame and then let it rest for maybe five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna use a hot water and then clean the wok and then put it back on the gas for five to maybe one to two minutes and then let the water evaporate and then after the wok is dry and you're ready to use the wok and the food will just glide through the wok and it will become a very non-stick wok. So this is how you season a